Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy-building podcast. This is day 752 of our trek, and time for our three-minute mini-trek called Wisdom Unplugged. This short nugget of wisdom includes an inspirational quote with a little bit of additional content for today's trek. Consider this your vitamin supplement of wisdom for today. So let's jump right in with today's nugget. Today's quote was from Maxwell Maltz, and it is, Accept yourself as you are. Otherwise, you will never see opportunity. You will not feel free to move toward it. You will feel that you are not deserving. So our snippet for today is, Accept yourself as you are. Yes, I realize that all of us have areas of our life where we can improve, but we need to accept ourselves as we are today with our warts, weaknesses, and flaws if we ever expect to take advantage of opportunities that will allow us to improve. If you do not accept yourself, others will not accept you either. This is not an ego-driven self-love, but the realization that we are created by a loving and gracious God who loves us as we are today, not what we should be tomorrow. God does not make mistakes, and you are created to be His image bearer, and to accept yourself is to not accept what God has created. You must move confidently forward to reach your God-given potential in life, otherwise you will languish in the cesspool of mediocrity. When you accept yourself for who you are today, with a desire to reach your potential, then others will also accept you, and the opportunities to grow will flow your way. Even the Apostle Paul, who wrote many letters in the New Testament, accepted himself with the realization that he was still fulfilling God's calling to be the bearer of his image. In Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14, he writes, No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing— Forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead, I press on to reach the end of the race and to receive the heavenly prize which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. Well, that's a wrap for today's Wisdom Unplugged. If you enjoy these quotes, I have created and published a searchable database of over 10,000 quotes that I have collected for many years. If you'd like free access to my database of inspirational quotes, the link is available on the main page of wisdom trackcom And just as you enjoy these nuggets of wisdom, please encourage your family and friends to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 751 treks or read the wisdom journals, they are available at wisdom-trek.com. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow for Philosophy Friday.